Hello there guys, welcome back to Unis Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, we are champions of Europe again, unbelievable, we got Mason Mount in tears, oh Mason please don't, <laughs> please don't, unbelievable scenes, I, I hope, I'm not even going to say I hope, I know all of you are doing well, we have done it, we are champions of Europe for a second time, I can't believe I'm saying those words, before we get into it, make sure you check out the one football app in the description below everything you want to know in relation to football is going to be there everything about the champions league win is going to be there anything you need to know is going to be there so make sure you check out the link in the description where we've done it and we've become european champions the one football app head into the link in the description let's get into it i predicted the one one going to penalties and i was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the case and i'm glad that wasn't the case i'm glad we got it done in 90 but my goodness that was the most nerve-wracking thing we've ever had to go through. And I can't believe we've done it. Champions of Europe. We know what we are. We know what we are. Champions of Europe. We know what we are. Bring on the parade! I can't wait for these lads to come home. I honestly, bring on the parade. And we can finally start singing that song again. We've plucked that song from the archives. And it's back now after nine years. What a performance. What a game. Everything I just want to say was perfection. Absolute perfection. From the lineup, from the tactics, from the players, the, the, the energy, the press, the chances, the goal, the everything, the attacking, the defending, the spirit, the hunger, everything was there. Everything was there. I could not ask for more. I could not ask for more. Whether it's the players or whether it's Thomas Tuchel. Everything went to absolute perfection. And now here we are for a second time. Kings of Europe again. I can't believe this. And I'm watching the scenes now. If, you've, if you didn't catch the watch along, you can catch the watch along where we had all the, all the, all the, all the, well, the goal, all the moments, all the crazy moments, the celebrations, the, the trophy lift, all of that on the watch along. And I'm now watching, you know, the, the aftermath of it all. Thomas Tuchel with his misses and finally he deserves it. I mean, there's no point going through lineups and all that. This is just vibes. Let's have it right. I just want to say, in terms of Thomas Tuchel and what he's done, he deserves huge credit. He deserves huge credit in the space of five months. What this man has done to our club is... Incredible isn't enough. Incredible is not enough. We need to find a new word. We need to find a new word for what Thomas Tuchel... We might have to call it Tuchling. We might have to make a new word, people. You know, what Tuchel's done in five months is I don't think anyone's done. You know, Di Matteo, yes, but I mean... We we weren't in that situation back then. I mean, you know, AVB and all that, I understand. But we had players that were just flipping legends and warriors. But this is using some youth players, some, some new signings that are still adapting. The current crop, the whole shebang. We were 10th in the league. Boom, champions of Europe. It's unheard of. Honestly, Thomas Tuchel, tactically today, got it absolutely spot on on absolutely spot on when we saw City start with no defensive midfielder there's that Chelsea fan his expression tells us everything we need to know is that this we haven't got any other flipping thing to say it's true we're all like this <laughs> jaw on the floor I can't believe it I'm losing my voice I really apologize but um too cool what he's done is incredible tactically was superb City played all their cards at the beginning and that was where Pep Guardiola overthinks and I was hoping that was going to happen and it did happen where he decided to go all attacking. No defensive midfielder on the pitch. And what happened for the goal? Mason mounts through ball, through the middle where a DM should be to cover that pass from happening. There was a gap. It landed straight to Kai Havertz. And Kai Havertz, I told you guys. I to I'm taking some credit for this. I don't care. I'm going to be shameless. Yesterday in the preview, what did I tell you? <laughs> I told you, I, 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 I sense a goal with Kai Havertz, I can sense a goal. If there's one man up top that I know we can rely on, it's Kai Havertz. And it happened exactly like that. Kai Havertz getting that goal. He manages to pick up the fantastic through ball from Mason Mount who gets an assist. We're going to get to Mason in a sec. Kai Havertz goes around the goalkeeper. Kind of fumbles with Edison, but eventually goes around him, slots it in, 1-0. And we could have done more. I mean, there it is. Look, Mason Mount holding a Champions League trophy. What is happening? What is happening? How does academy players now, at the age of 22 and 21 and, and 20 and 19, Billy Gilmore and all of them lot, have a Champions League medal? 
and they get to hold this trophy like Anzarin, look, Anzarin is, what is going on? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy when you think about it. Some of the story, the stories of these players, yeah? Thomas Tuchel last season, obviously, Champions League final and all of that, and he missed it. And this season he's come in, he's done absolute wonders, and he's won it. Fantastic. Thomas, Thomas Tuchel has made this all happen. But if we look at the journey of some of the players, we start off with Edouard Mendy. Five years ago, he was unemployed, man. He was unemployed. He didn't have a flipping job. He didn't have a club. He was a free agent. He looked like his career was done. Finished. He's won the Champions League five years later. Unbelievable. Unbelievable story. A little man in France. Well, not a little man. He's a big man. But a big man in France with no hope. Five years later, you win the Champions League. Never lose hope in your dreams. Never lose hope. Always believe. And that message, believe, was what Didier Drogba said before the game on his Instagram and on his Twitter. He said, it's in our DNA. We've left a legacy for you. You take it today. It's in our DNA. Believe. Believe. Come on, Chelsea. And they did believe. And we went out there and we left everything on the line. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Our academy players, Mason Mount. Hudson Odoi, Reese James, um, Tammy Abraham, um, Billy Gilmore. Have I missed anyone? I hope not. Um, but they're academy players. They got called up to the squad last season. They are now Champions League winners at the age of 22 and 20 and 19. And it's just, what? What is going on? What is going on? Lampard and all them, like John Terry, who came to the club at 14. He had to wait until he was, what, 32 or 33 to do it. These guys have got a fast track. Unbelievable scenes, and I'm so happy for them. Their careers can now progress at such a high level because of this. And I'm so, so chuffed for them. I think because of that, one name comes to mind, and we have to give credit. Frank Lampard. We have to give some credit here. Um, it didn't work out, and the inexperience kicked in. But at least for the work in that group stage, laid at least a little bit of foundation for us to be able to just think of the knockout stage under Thomas Tuchel. He didn't have more work to do. So for that, we thank Frank Lampard. And he's a legend, you know? That essence of 2012 was put into the team today and it just happened. Absolutely fantastic. Some of the other lads we look at, the signings. Let's talk about some of the signings. I mean, Werner, Ziesch, Chilwell, Mendy, as I've already said, um, I'm, I'm really happy for them. You know, Pulisic you can put into that bracket, but Kai Havertz, let me just paraphrase, not paraphrase, let me take a phrase from 2012 and use it today. £70 million has just been repaid by the man, scorer of the goal that wins Chelsea the UEFA Champions League. Just like it was used for Torres, we're going to use it for Kai Havertz. We've got a new king in, in town. We had King Jogba. Now we've got King Kai. Yeah, fantastic goal. Fantastic goal. And I'm so happy for him. His fee has been worth it. Every single penny, mate. Every penny is worth it. 70 million, absolutely. Thank you very, very much. And there we go. One step beyond playing. All the fans going mental. That's what you got to do. That is beautiful. Honestly, I could cry right now. I could absolutely cry. I'm not going to, but I could cry. Um, you look at the players that were already there. You know, you look at... Kante, 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 what a, I love, I love Kante, I absolutely love him, I adore him, I, I love him to bits, I put myself in front of a bus for Kante, I, I honestly, the guy is, is not just so good on the pitch of what he does, but he's so humble, and he's such a nice man, and a good character, and on top of that, he puts his body on the line for everything. He gets everything that you want done. He's just so efficient. He wins every single duel, every interception. He does everything for the club. It's absolutely fantastic. Kante is world class. Kante needs a Ballon d'Or. I'm telling you guys this now. He needs to win a Ballon d'Or urgently. Give him a, 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 an honorary Ballon d'Or if you're not going to give him the actual one because he flipping deserves it. He's a gem for football, let alone Chelsea Football Club. But you look at the others that were there. Rudiger. Christensen, Jorginho, um, I mean, Alonso, Emerson, Kepa, you know, the guard of when we was under Conte and Sari. You look at Giroud, um, you know, I'll get to him in a sec. But some of those players who have been there, they've been waiting for a moment like this, and it's happened. Aspilicueta. 
my captain. And now he's finally won it all. He's won it all. He's won every single possible trophy. And he's lifted the one big ears today. And he deserves it. He's been such a good captain and such a leader since John Terry left. And Gary Cahill left as well. As Piliqueta for me is a Chelsea legend. He's given everything that he can give. And he's done it brilliantly. He's been there at the beginning. This was the one thing that was missing. And he's managed to do it. I'm so, 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 so happy for Aspilicueta. Proper leader. Proper legend. And for me, he goes down as a Chelsea legend, as I've already said. He goes down as a Chelsea legend. So thank you to Aspilicueta. We look at some of the other lads, as I've already mentioned. The lads that were already down, Antonio Conte. You know, your Rudigers and your Keppers and your Alonso's and Jorginho and all of that. Conte, Sari, etc. You know, but... In terms of some of the players that I think are going to be going, and we need to pay homage, Olivier Giroud, I wish him the best of luck. Talk about leaving at the highest level, right? Winning a Champions League, it doesn't get bigger than that. So Olivier Giroud, I hope he goes off into the sunset and as an absolute... Uh, well, with pure happiness, with pure happiness and joy that he's finally managed to win pretty much everything, I think. The only thing that he hasn't won, if I'm not mistaken, is... Uh, has he won the Carabao Cup? I'm not sure if he has. Or if he's... Uh, well, he's not won the Euros. Oh, that's about it, really. Or, uh, has he won the Premier League? He hasn't won the Premier No, he has won the Premier League. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> My head's all over the place. But Giroud, I wish him the best, best of luck in Italy. He's definitely going. This is the last time we see Olivier Giroud. So, um, yeah. Good luck, mate. And I hope you smash it out there. You've been a wonder for us since coming, to our, since coming from Arsenal. So, best of wishes uh, to you, Olivier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... Tammy Abraham. Now, Tammy Abraham, it's not certain that he's leaving. We'll see. We'll see. If he does go, honestly, I wish him all the best of luck at West Ham or Aston Villa or wherever he goes. But personally, I don't want to give him a goodbye like I've given to Olivier because I hope he now looks at this and goes, yeah, you know what? I'm staying. <laughs> Maybe I can develop here. Maybe I can stay here because we've got winners. Hopefully that will spur him on in order to try and develop his game and to reach a new level. Fingers crossed because personally, I'd love him to stay. I'd want him to stay. If he does go, though... I'll obviously give him a goodbye when it's due. But right now, it's not certain, so I'm not going to do it. I want him to stay. Fingers crossed he does. Um, and, yeah, honestly, I can't believe we've we've done this. I can't believe we've won the Champions League, people. <laughs> we've won the Champions League. Have I missed anyone out? I hope I haven't missed anyone out. Because, honestly, everyone deserves credit. Whether it's the Academy lot, whether it's the new signings, whether it's the uh, the ones that were already there, like your Kantes and your men, well, your Kantes and your Rudigers and, and, and all sorts. They deserve it. Absolute fantastic. Um, Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva we've got to talk about as well because Thiago Silva came off and I was shattered for him. I was broken for him. I thought, oh my God, his final's over. But in the same way in 2012 that we looked at this and went, yeah, you know what? We got to play. We got to play for him. We got to play for him. We've got to be able to win this for him. In the same way in 2012 where we've done it for JT, the players can relate on that level. And this is why on the watch long I was saying, yeah, you know what? We got to win it for him. We got to win it for him. And they did. And I'm sure Thiago Silva now is absolutely buzzing. He missed out last year. He's done it this year. Thomas Tuchel missed out last year. He's done it this year. PSG are probably looking at this going, how the hell have they done that? How have they done that? We've got Mbappe and Neymar. How have they done that to City when we struggled and looked like we couldn't even pass a ball together? It's crazy. But that, my friends, is destiny. That is when it's meant to be. And that is when it just happens. And our lads, from players to manager, from fans, were absolutely immense. I want to say to the supporters that were out in Porto, you done us proud. You done us proud, big time. You did not shut up from minute one until minute 90. We didn't hear the City fans once. I actually, sorry, we did hear them once. We heard them once when they thought that they got a handball from Rhys James and it wasn't. That was the only time we heard the City fans. You lot took over that stadium. You made it feel like the bridge. So to everyone that was out in Porto, and I know a few of you, fantastic thank you so much you've done us absolute wonders and now you guys all bring it home together and we will meet at the parade we will meet at the parade i hope there's going to be a big parade and i'm there i am there thank you all so much for watching let me know your thoughts and comments in the description in, in the description in the comments below honestly i still can't believe what's happened i'm happy to say chelsea are champions of europe again for the second time Yes, get in. That's what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. We can get two stars now if we if we if we want. You know, 
Two stars, please. Can we put that on an order? Someone get that for us. Two stars. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Congratulations. All of you celebrate. Go crazy tonight. This is the one where you can all go absolutely mental. Do what you got to do. And I will see you tomorrow when things have calmed down a little bit. But we're still going to be smiling and laughing and celebrating because this isn't going to end. This isn't going to end until they fly home with the trophy. Anyway, it's back at the bridge. We've got ourselves back. Um, at hold of the European Cup of the Champions. Champions League, however you call it, and I'm so, so happy. Kings of Europe again. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if, if you're new. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this, and I will see all of you tomorrow to talk more about this. We're going to have to, aren't we? Because this is just, this is the pinnacle. We've done it again. We've absolutely done it again. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your day, wherever you are in the world. Go crazy. Celebrate. Have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Look after yourselves. Take care. See you tomorrow. And peace. Champions of Europe. We know what we are.